everybody, Farley here to do a music collection update. I'm joined as usual by the one and only. Oh, pup, pup. Pup, pup, pup. Say hello. And you'll probably see Fifi walking around behind me. Uh, she's a little camera shy. But anyway, I'm here to do a music collection update. Uh, got a cassette, a CD, and a couple of LPs. And I also got a package, so I'll be showing that at the end. So let's get started. So I know there's a lot of people buying the new uh, Garage Days Revisited Remaster from Metallica. I have the an original of the Garage Days Revisited on vinyl, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, get an original cassette as well. So it's a beautiful copy of this thing. So a lot of a lot of them you'll see with the writing smudged or uh, part part or all of it missing, but this is in really good shape. So so I was really stoked to find this at a really good price. So I'm still debating whether or not to pick up a copy of the remaster. And I've thought about doing a video doing a sound comparison between the two. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to spend the money on a remaster of this album because I just love the original sound so much. We'll see. Next, we have Persuader. This is a Swedish power metal band. This uh, CD is called The Hunter. This was originally released in 2000. This is a 2005 repressing CD. And this is just great, great power metal. Um... To me, it reminds me a lot of Blind Guardian if they were a little bit heavier uh, with maybe a few more thrash elements thrown in. Not saying they're thrash, but every once in a while you can you can hear some thrash elements in there. Uh, but for the most part, I would I would call them just really good power metal. Uh, formed in the 90s, uh, 96, 97, and um, this was their first CD. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna end up getting the rest of their. CDs as well, or vinyl, whatever I've run into at a good price. Um, but just killer stuff, man. If you like power metal, Halloween, Blind Guardian, Crimson Glory, that kind of stuff, uh, but you, you said to yourself, oh man, I wish it's just a little bit heavier. You probably have Persuader. All right. All right, next up, we have, this would be a, I won't say a grail, uh, but this would be an album I've been looking for, the original, for a long time, and I'm not going to pay what they ask for it. So I come across a 2016 repressing of this, so I was really, really stoked, so I went ahead and picked it up. And um, we have Savage, Loose and Lethal, new wave of British heavy metal band. Really, really heavy for 1983, in my opinion. Um, of course, if you uh, are a big Metallica fan, you've heard them cover Let It Loose. That is a Savage song. So, this is 2016 repress on Hammer Heart. 180 gram, just regular black vinyl. Nothing fancy. So if you've been looking for this album, there is a repressing out there that's reasonably priced. So I picked it up. And then finally, we have the second uh, Hindsight album by Anacrusis. So I think, my, was it my last update? I think maybe my last update, I had their re-recording of the album Reason. This is their re-recording of actually the first album, Suffering Hour. And this thing, just like the other one, is absolutely stunning and well done. I have no complaints whatsoever about these repressings. They come with a little booklet. That's the original cover. So why did they go and re-record these albums? 
they were on very limited budget the first two albums, and they've never been happy with the sound, especially uh, Reason. Um, I think they kind of understood that Suffering Hour was their first album, and so they weren't given a huge budget budget to record it. But so much is lost, and there's such a there's all these different elements to their music, to their sound, whether it's vocally or whether it's with the guitars doing something kind of quietly, and then they build up to to something really intense. But some of that's lost in the mixes on those first two albums, and so. They decided to go in the studio and re-record those. The original lineup, I think it was 2009, 2010. I know they're, yeah, 2010 reunion show. So I think it was 2010 they, re they redid this in Reason. And so I think they sound absolutely outstanding. Um, to me, there's not a huge difference between the original and this in terms of the band. They nail it. They nailed the original songs, but man, you can hear so much more. Vocally, it comes through very crisp, and you can hear the highs and the lows, and there's tons of those in his vocal style. And you can hear all the different things the guitar's doing, and you're like, man, I did not remember the, this song sounding that way on the first album. Again, it got lost in the mix. So, so it's great, great stuff. If you like Anacrusis, if you like prog metal, uh, check out Anacrusis. Uh, if you're a fan of them, these um, these hindsight series, man, they're great. And they're always two LPs. They include some demos and some live tracks. 180 gram. And I could be happier with, with these two albums. I really couldn't. So I'm trying to remember who put these out. Uh, this is Hammer Heart as well. Again, I think it's a 20. 2010. So, all right, that's all my new tunage. So, I got a package from Julian Lopez, and I think I know what's in here, but I want to open it and show everyone what he sent. Julian is one of my fave people. I know I say that a lot, but definitely, uh, definitely good get good guy. We've sent a couple of packages back and forth to each other. We have very similar tastes in music. Uh, we both play guitar, but we <laughs> we have we have totally different styles. One, he has style. Two, I'm not very good. But dude, he has a. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to look at uh, to do this like I'm threatening you. Hey, you better subscribe to Julian Lopez. You hear? But yeah, love his channel, man. He's got a band. They're on hiatus right now. I hope they get back together. But hey, whatever they want to do, whatever makes them happy. But God, he's killer guitarist, man. He sent me their demo, and uh, I've raved on it before, and I'll do it again, man. Absolutely killer demo. So, and he has a great collection. A uh, big fan of Stoner, Doom, Thrash, Death, and uh, he does get into black metal, which I don't get into. But hey, that's cool. To each their own. All right. So first off, we have a note. Let's see if I can read this. All right, so I, I know about one. What's up, dude? I sent a couple of duplicates. I didn't know you sent him on one. That I have that I think you will dig. I won't spoil it, but th these are albums I really enjoy, too. Hope you like the man, Julian, with the metal symbol. I'm sure I will, brother. So let's see. First off, we have a cassette, which is awesome. I've really been getting more into cassettes lately. Oh, Believer. I, Sanity Obscure. I haven't heard this in years. Oh, I forgot all about them. I had this. San, I remember Sanity. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm so, I'm so stoked to get this. Man, I, I had forgotten all about this band, dude. But this is Believer. Sanity Obscure from 1990. And it's still sealed, dude. Holy cow. I cannot believe you sent me this. I can't believe it's sealed. I'm breaking the seal, though, because I'm going to listen to this. Wow. This is cool, man. Yeah, and it's got the old style cassette. Look at that. Where they, the full inlay to protect 
the writing on both sides. Wow. I'm so stoked, dude. Holy, this is another one of those bands that just kind of got lost over the years and forgotten by me. I did not know he was sending this. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Julian, he, he gets me. He knows, man. I'm, all of y'all that have sent me stuff, y'all y'all got me figured out. I must be an open book. All right, next we got a CD. Spell, holy crap. We've talked about this band. It's one that uh, he's shown, and I was like, yeah, I checked him out, and I was like, yeah, I want to get that. So I really look forward to checking this out. This is... Uh, I don't know, it's self-titled, maybe. I have poor lighting in my house. Lone Fur Records. Yeah. All right, man. I can't remember. I don't think this is any of the stuff that I checked out. But this was uh, at one time one of the highest rated Bandcamp bands. Uh, I don't know if you, if you go to Bandcamp a lot. Um, they'll do like a monthly um, what's hot in metal. And they probably do other genres as well. But uh, this is a band that gets really, really a lot of um, press off of their band cap releases. And I think they're signed. I don't know. Julian can tell me later. I don't know. I don't know very much about them other than I think you showed them. I checked them out and I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to pick one of those up. So thanks, man. And then I think I know what this is. But we shall see if it is. This is Steel Pulse Earth Crisis. This is reggae. And he asked me if I had this. I said no. And he said, all right, I'm going to, this is all I knew he was sending. I was like, cool, man, because I'm really trying to discover more reggae. And so he sent me this to check out, and um, I couldn't be more happy with it. So this looks like some 80s stuff here. Got Pope John Paul, Mikhail Gorbachev, Reagan, the Klan. Well, it looks like some images from um, starvation in Africa, and then looks like police action over here. So... This is from 84. So I'm excited, excited to check this out, man. Thank you so much for sending me this. Um, I can't wait to hear all this stuff, man. So I am definitely, definitely going to hit you back. Uh, and I appreciate you, man. Julian's very, very supportive of my channel. Um, and, and I am of his. And figures. It was, you know, I got rid of my channel, came back, not to get back into that. But he's one of those people that I talked to and, like, and he was glad to see me back. And it was very genuine. And he, to be honest with you, he's one of those uh, people I thought of when I took my channel. I was like, God, I'm not, if I leave, I'm not going to be able to talk to this person. So, um, And there's plenty of y'all out there. And he's one of them. But uh, if you're not subscribed to Julian Lopez, you should be because he's really, really good people. So, man. All right. Thank you so much for this. Uh, you guys and gals take care. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I've been doing a lot of planning. I've planted some roses and uh, I'm a big fan of ivy, you know, where it grows up stuff. So I've been planting a lot of that. Some other stuff I don't, I couldn't tell you how to pronounce it. And then um, crepe myrtles. So been busy the last two days, planting, planting, planting. So anyway, I hope you all are taking advantage of the spring and we will talk to you all soon. Farley out.